guys and welcome back to another video i hope you're all having a lovely day when you're watching this and you're all keeping well and safe um this video that you're about to watch is a little bit of a holiday getaway kind of vlog i'm just bringing you guys along for um a few bits and pieces of our holiday i decided i didn't want to vlog the entire thing because i definitely needed this time as a bit of a break but I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite parts and just some bits and pieces behind the scenes. I also tried to intro this whole video in like the next clips you're about to see but it just like didn't work. It's very very hard to like properly talk and film. Yeah there's just like people in the kitchen there's people everywhere now and I also don't have a proper room. My room doesn't really have a door so yes this is probably the most privacy I've received this entire time <laughs> it's totally fine just made my talking clip later on very confusing and yeah just wanted to give you a bit of a background it's gonna start on the first full day I had here and I'm just kind of taking you guys along for my morning routine and yeah you guys can come along for a bit of my holiday so I hope you enjoy this vlog let's play the clips of my first morning here holiday we just went to the beach and now I'm gonna make some a lunch so I'll show you guys what I end up making sorry everyone started making their lunch and came into the kitchen I'm also very hungry this is my lunch literally just a wrap with some salad and a veggie patty on it I'm starving so I'm gonna demolish this Good morning guys, it is Saturday today and I am up on the rooftop nice and early, it's like 4.30am right now. I've just chucked on some active wear and I'm up here to watch the sunrise. I haven't watched the sunrise in this place for so long that I forgot where it rose. I kind of thought it was like over the water here but I realized it was over the water like down that way so it was facing a different way. So yeah, not the clearest view of the sunrise but I didn't want to come here and not at least see one. If you stand up on this thing, you can see it fine. I'm just gonna watch the sunrise and then probably go for a walk, go for a swim this morning, have my coffee, do my journaling, and yeah, set myself up for a good day. Yesterday's eclipse didn't really work out the way that I had planned, so yeah, I've kind of just turned this into like a little bit of a vlog. I just didn't want to not capture parts of this holiday. Yesterday we ended up just relaxing all afternoon. We came up here in the hot tub. We had dinner with my auntie, uncle and my grandma. So that was pretty much the entire day. And yeah, hopefully today is a good one. Before I go, I haven't even given you guys a tour yet. So welcome to the rooftop this is pretty much our own private rooftop so no one else uses this there's a spa here the beach is just down there and then over this side and the canals so it's really really beautiful the sun is rising over there but yeah it's really really nice up here it's a little bit harder to show you the actual apartment when there's like people here that don't want to be on camera and all that kind of stuff and we've also like messed it up a little bit now so i probably should have shown you at the beginning
Hello guys, it is now a lot later. It is Thursday today and we just got home from our little beach trip. I accidentally left my charger for my vlogging camera at home. When I went to next pick up my camera after the last clip that you saw, it was dead and I couldn't film anything for the rest of the trip, which was definitely not the plan. Um, so I was a little bit sad that that didn't work out, but it's okay, these things happen. But now I'm home, I've been home for a good couple of hours and I've charged up the battery so now I can continue on with this vlog. But yeah, I do apologize for this vlog not really going to plan because it was supposed to be like a few days in my life on holidays and that would have been super fun. Yes, had a super good time away, very excited and energized to be back. It's going to be a busy like next six weeks, there's just so much happening and it's all fun stuff and I'm working a lot and all that good stuff but yeah it's just like a lot to get my head around. One day in the next week I'm going to have to just sit down and get myself organized because I have no idea what's going on at the moment. Coming back from holidays you always just feel so spacey. Maybe we'll do like a bit of like a getting back on track kind of thing because I've been feeling so sluggish the past few days. I've been eating out, enjoying myself on holidays, having some bevies, uh, which is all fun but at the end of the day I don't feel my best when I'm doing all those things. I'm obviously going to let myself do that on holidays but when I'm at home I like to kind of be on the ball so very excited to get back into that and head to the gym tomorrow. It is very hot at home. Um, as you can see, I am got a little bit of a tan while we were away. I have been getting through my to-do list now, literally just smashing out stuff. I've watered all my plans, picked up my mail. Um, I had some packages to open, which I'm going to show you guys. Got a hair mask in as well because my hair got so dry while we were away. Just from like all the salt um, and like obviously washing it so often. My hair is just disgusting. So yes, yeah, so I've got a hair mask in. I'm going to wash my hair and I'm also going to the hairdresser tomorrow to get my fringe fixed up. I'm just not loving how thick it is. I don't really know what my problem is, but I'm just struggling with the fringe at the moment but I came home to some exciting packages so I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I got first one is a Christmas present my last Christmas present I'm so excited I'm gonna wrap that this afternoon so all my Christmas presents are done that's for my boyfriend's mum very excited about it and then I've already taken away the mug but I picked up a few things from cotton on body so the first thing that I got was this little like yoga workout top in this beautiful um, like baby green color. I've got this in yellow, which you might have seen before, but I love it. It's actually so supportive. And then I got some pajama shorts just in like orange print. I just thought they were kind of cute. And then I got a bikini top. I have a problem with buying bikinis, but this is so cool. It's a really nice fabric. Yeah, just picked that up. So that's all from Cotton on Body. And then I got a huge delivery from Nasty Gal, which, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm going to share some of these with you guys because I think that you will really love them. I might give you guys just like a little bit of a try on haul maybe um, and show you guys what all these pieces look like set you up this definitely isn't like the cutest background okay so the first thing is so fun it's like this 90s oversized hoodie kind of thing so fun my mum definitely had one of these in the 90s i just love this i love the vibe and i really do like zip ups just for when i'm heading to the gym but yeah, you can kind of see what it looks like. They're really nice and oversized. But yeah, it does have a hood. Really cute. I'm very excited to wear that. And it's not like too fleecy either. So like you could wear this if it was just a little bit windy. So I picked up that. I'm not going to try this on because it is so hot. Like I actually think I might pass out if I put this on. But you guys know I love my crew necks and Nasty Gal just always has the cutest so i picked up this one it just says big sky country montana and then it has the blue print on there nice and oversized i got this in an extra large um but it's also not like fleecy it's the same material as the cropped zip up so really liking that i'm going to take these into 
my bedroom to show you guys because I can actually see properly because there's a mirror and the lighting's probably a little bit better as well. So yes, welcome to my room. I also, when I got home, did like a huge clean of all my spaces. My plants were still in the bath because I watered them just before I left which was a week ago, so they all needed a water. I've watered all my plants, watered all my outdoor plants. I've like dusted, vacuumed everything. I've done like such a big clean. I've done some washing too. So I'm just trying to get myself sorted so tomorrow I can start getting back into things and getting a bit more organized. Okay, so this is super fun. I got a set, Nasty Girl again, has the greatest sets. And I thought this one might be nice for just like summer, but when the air comes on, I guess, because um, it is kind of like a knitted material. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I think this is just so flattering. So it's like a little like singlet, so flattering, like really roomy, nice and baggy. They don't stick to your legs, really airy and comfortable. I just feel like this would be perfect for editing, lounging around the house or just having like an errand day where you're getting things done. I could probably wear that out if you tucked it in. Then I got this little crop top, which I am in love with. I saw Millie um, pick this up, I'm pretty sure, from Nasty Gal, and I was like, need that. So cute. I haven't cut the tag off, but it's a little halter neck top in this beautiful like brown ribbed material. I am so obsessed with brown crop tops at the moment, like just brown in general. Brown clothing is my thing. I see it, I love it, and then I buy it. It's a bit of a problem, but I'm just really loving the brown at the moment. But yeah, I've just got it on with the same pants I just showed you. Would be so cute with some little white shorts. Obsessed with this. And this is what it looks like with the white shorts. Just for reference, these aren't from Nasty Gal, but yeah, just wanted to show you. Looks super cute. And then just a white um, high neck crop top. I love these. I show them in so many of my hauls because I just find them so flattering. I also have this in black and I wear it to death. So I thought I would pick it up in white. So comfy, like the nicest soft cotton material. And then this cute little lace shirt again. I've got this in black and I love it. So I thought I'd get it in the other color, but this would be so nice on like a little date night or like going to get some cocktails. I think it fits a little bit snugger than my black one. I don't know if I got them in the same size. It still fits me really well, but very cute. Really like this one. A little bit of a close up shot of that one. Now I got this one more so for winter, but just like a nice ribbed long sleeve crop top. It's a little bit more snug around my arms than it is like down here. If you have a bit more to your arms, I feel like it might be an idea to size up. I love the color of this. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of it. I'm just really loving the neutrals at the moment. Another neutral piece. I got this bodysuit, which I am so glad this like fits and looks exactly how I wanted because I just think I'm going to get so much wear out of it. Looks really nice with white, but again, could style this with like denim, going out for drinks, going out on date night. I love this. It's got a thick shoulder. You can definitely wear it like a strapless bra because it doesn't come down too far at the back. Very nice. It comes in a bunch of different colors as well. I just thought this was like a little bit different, but yeah, really loving this one as well. Oh, look at how ratchet my tan lines are. That is ridiculous. Imagine this with nice tan lines. I picked up a few swim pieces. They were kind of going to be for this holiday that I just went on, but I also have some more coming up, so I'm sure I'm going to get wear out of them. This summer I'm going to be at the beach a lot so decided to get this cute um like beige one piece with like a fake belt kind of thing going on i really like this it's a very low cut i don't feel like anything's really gonna fall out but i don't think i would wear this in the surf more like a hotel pool kind of situation but super super cute here's all my sea life bites but a little bikini number which is super cute the pants are nice and high-waisted so I don't know you just feel a little bit more supported in these yeah I think these are really cute they're not too cheeky on the back which I really like a lot of my bikinis are quite cheeky so it's nice to have some that are a little bit more fuller coverage for days when you don't want to be all out yeah really cute and then this is the print so I've got a hair mask in so my hair looks a little whack but I got this like fluffy faux fur 
hat. I thought it would be fun for like a photo or something. Like I definitely look a little strange in it, but if this was styled properly, I think you could make this like really fun. I don't know, just kind of like change the vibe of the photo. You guys will probably see a lot of these outfits. I am gonna shoot in some of them at some point when I get a chance. So much going on. I get very overwhelmed when I'm not organized. The end of the year is just absolute bloody madness. But yeah, that is what I picked up from Nasty Gal that arrived today. So thought I would share them with you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of those pieces. Um, I will have a link in the description if you do want to shop anything along to the link to all those pieces. So you can check them out um, if you would like to. But my discount code is still just Georgia K 55 for 55% off at checkout. That's the Australian store only. So yeah, all my oldest gals, if you want to pick up anything from Nasty Gal, um, make sure you use that to save 55% off your order. But yeah, now I need to finish off the rest of my to-do list. All right, so now I'm going to wrap the last Christmas present of 2020. Very excited about this. Um, as I said, this is for Pav's mum. I got her like a personalized engraved wooden board because she loves cooking. So yeah, this is from Pav and I. I'm going to wrap this up and pop it down at the tree. So now all of my Christmas presents are done. Super exciting. I have now just been like kind of organizing tomorrow. Tomorrow night I'm going to like a drink sing um, with Pat for his handball and I've been trying to find an outfit. I always struggle to find nice outfits to wear out. Like if I'm going out for drinks or I don't know, just like a nice occasion. <laughs> I don't know why I struggle so much to put together an outfit. I'm just very indecisive, but I've narrowed it down now to two options that I think I'm just gonna try on in the morning because I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm very sweaty, like my skin is so sticky and I think I want to wear jeans to run out because it's going to be a bit cooler and I'm definitely not going to get those jeans on now. I've got some shoe options down there, just like sneakers and sandals, but I'm thinking this top, so this is the black version of the white top I just showed you from Nasty Gal and I'm thinking about wearing it with these ripped jeans. I also have another pair of jeans like my dark wash mum jeans that I could wear as well. So that's like outfit option one with like the white sandals or the white sneakers. And then just kind of do like silver jewelry and stuff. But my mum jeans and like a black one shouldered uh, bodysuit, which was in my last Princess Polly haul. That's like my other backup option. I've got like this clutch that I've been wanting to use for so long. It's like sage green. It's so cute and I think it would go really well with like the um, one shouldered bodysuit. But they're currently in the wash so I'm going to get that all dried and like sorted tonight and then tomorrow I can just like try it on and work out the little details and then pack it in my bag because I'm going to get changed at work and then drive straight there. But yeah, anyway, that was a big kerfuffle that nobody asked for. But my hair mask is still in. I think I'm going to make dinner before I wash my hair so... I'm feeling like Mexican tonight. Maybe like a Mexi bowl, burritos maybe, we'll see. But I'm gonna make like the little Mexi bean mix that I make all the time that you guys always ask about. So yeah, I'll show you guys a little highlight of me making dins. I finished dinner now. I've just washed my hair mask out of my hair. Focus back on me, please. And I've just done like my skincare routine. So I'm feeling fresh as a daisy. Loving that. Also, I like have tried to treat all of these lice bites that I have all over me. I swear I get bitten by every bug. Like every insect. There was mozzies the other night. Bit me all over my legs. It's a real problem. Like any creature 
that could bite me will but i am just gonna lie in bed have a very early night tonight probably watch some youtube and some netflix and yeah go to bed because i want to get up go to the gym and get straight back into my normal routine tomorrow i have quite a busy day tomorrow going to the hairdressers pab's coming going to the gym work and then straight off to drinks so i'm probably not gonna vlog tomorrow thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it i hope you guys are doing well and keeping safe wherever you are in the world and you're looking after yourself just a little reminder that it's so important to take time out for yourself like this past week has been so so beneficial but even just like a day or half a day just like scheduled as a break to just relax unwind and disconnect it will do wonders for your well-being yeah look after yourselves guys and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye guys